Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Hi, how are you? How have you been? Good evening, teacher. Come on, stop. Come on, stop. Teacher, I'm Hello. sorry, pero voy, voy manejando en este momento. Ah, oh, okay. Try to keep uh, connected. Manténgase okay. ahí conectadito para que le cuente el tiempo. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy, take it easy. Almost ready. Let me check up. Okay, let me see, check up the assistant. I got here. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Harrison. Present. José Miguel. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Eh, Karina Noemi. Present. Welcome. Eh, Linda y Beth. No. María Idalia. I am your teacher. Ok. Eh, María Julia. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Marvin Omar. Marvin. Nancy Yvette. 
present teacher. Welcome. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. No te dice. Present. No. Okay, welcome. Escuchame. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Welcome. Suleyma. Present teacher. Welcome. Yomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. Ana Cristina Chavarria. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Solo me queda uno que no se ha presentado nunca. Que es. ¿Quién es? Marvin Omar Méndez. Ya van tres sesiones y no se presentó ni. Bueno, él sabrá. Okay, welcome back. I hope that you've been well this day. Today we are going to start a new class. Uh, it's a pleasure to me to be here with you. Before to start, we are going to make a review of what we're talking in the last class. Do you remember the topic? Somebody wants to tell me something about the last topic that we started? Hello. Let us make a review. Manufacturing. Of what Manufacturing teaching. Yes, yes, but we have a, a, a specific uh, topic. We were what talking. What clauses? We were talking about what clauses, okay? I like that. I like that. Okay, somebody wants to give me some examples about this kind of clauses. Could you, could you please do it for me? Hello? I'm waiting. Are you there? Are you there? Yes or not? Okay, the topic for today is going to be how to use imperative. But first of all, to start, uh, I would like to talk about some example about what closes. Who wants to read it, uh, the first one? I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. What I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa. Ask for consul and give him a message for me. Will you do that? Yes. I took it from a book. For that reason, I got the, the name here. Okay, as you can see, what I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa, offer consul and give him a message from me. Will you do that? This one is the, is the what close. What about the second one? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, money was what I wanted. Other people's money. What I wanted 
was impossible. It was a wish for the whole affair to, to have been imaginary. Imaginary, okay. But I want it was impossible. Yeah. Okay. Another example. Who wants to read it? Hello. Somebody else want to read? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. What I wanted were new experience. I wanted to go go out into the world and test myself to move from this to that, to explore as much as I could. Okay, excellent. What I wanted were new experience. I wanted to go out into the world and test myself to move from this to that, to explore as much as I could. Okay. And I have uh, three more. Somebody else want to read it? Hello. Me teacher. Okay, tell me. One should not be forgetting either diplomatic and military strategic must reinforcement urge other as part of a current policy. 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 Okay, what to not be forgetting is that diplomatic and military strategies must reinforce each other as part of a coherent policy. Okay, what about the next one? Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, please. What upset me most was his rudeness or his students was what upset me most. Okay. What upset me most was his readiness. Or I can say readiness, well, what upset me most. Vayanle poniendo un poco de lógica a estos ejemplos. And the last one says, what makes, what makes me really angry is the claim the fat hunting is a traditional score. Lo que realmente dice que. Ajá, sí. I'm angry, me enoja. Sí, lo que realmente me enoja es que. Clean. The fat hunting is a traditional sport. 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 La. ¿Sí? La caza de zorro es un deporte tradicional. Yeah, but what is the meaning of the word claim? I need, I need dictionary, dictionary, dictionary. 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 Afirmar que la casa de zorro es un deporte tradicional. Having problem with my camera. Okay, what can you tell me about it? What is the meaning of the word claim? Es afirmar, afirmar que la casa de zorro es un deporte tradicional. Somebody else? Alguien más tiene otro concepto de claim? Bueno, ahí 
se los dejo de tarea. Like a verb is reclamar. Ah, ok, ok, excelente. Excellent. Okay, now that you have seen some example, I would like to hear your own example using what closes. Somebody want to share with me? Is that possible? Ya vimos algunos ejemplos. Ahora quiero eh, oír sus propios ejemplos. Ok, hold on a second. I need to turn on, on the light here. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be better. A little better. Okay, I'm here to, to listen on all ears. Me, teacher. Okay, Linda, tell me. For example, uh, what I want to achieve are my personal goals. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Somebody else? Uh, what people need to be successful is to work hard. Okay, okay. Ya nos vamos entendiendo. Así me gusta. Excelente. Somebody else? Hello? Remember, as I told you at the beginning of the class, all of you had the same opportunity to participate. All the ten of you. Lo que les dije al inicio de la clase se mantiene. Todos tienen la misma oportunidad de participar. Todo depende de la voluntad suya. Claro, si no quiere. It's going to be difficult for you, but you need to practice a lot because if you want to increase your skill about talking, about speaking in English, this is the moment that you need to use. And that way you are going to develop your skills. Of course, at the beginning, maybe it's going to be really difficult to understand exactly all the words that I'm saying. But at the same time, I need that all of you start speaking. Don't hesitate, don't worry about it, that you are going to um, have some mistakes or error. Go ahead, try to speak. Me entendieron lo que les dije, sí. Hello. No teacher. Really? Más de algunos sí lo hizo. Díganme. Lo que les estaba diciendo es simple y sencillo. Lo primero que tenemos que hacer es quitarnos el miedo de hablar. Todos vamos a cometer errores, es un proceso a través del cual se va a ir mejorando con la práctica. Pero si toda la vida eh, usted va a estar pensando, no, no hablo porque va a hacer que me equivoque. Nosotros debemos de aprender de los errores. ¿Quién no ha cometido un error? Díganme, que levante la mano. Todo, ¿cierto? Entonces, para aprender un idioma, lo que debemos de hacer es practicarlo. Es simple. Pero para eso tenemos que estar al día con los apuntes, con la guía, con el tema. Y de esa forma yo voy a poder expresar eh, lo que se está pidiendo. ¿Sí? Ok. ¿Somebody else want to say something about? ¿Alguien más me quiere dar otro ejemplo para luego entrar ya en detalle de lo que nos corresponde? Mr. Chef, 
Okay, okay, Angel. What I want is what new experience. Okay. ¿Comprendieron lo que dijo Don Ángel? Yes or no? No? Could you repeat again, Don Ángel? Lo que quiero nueva experiencia. Yeah, yeah, but in English. Tell, tell us in uh, English. What I, what I want, what I want is still what new experience. What I want is new experience, okay? Okay, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, please. Alguien más? No. Okay, están bien serios ahora, muy serios. No sé por qué están muy serios. Voy a los que estén más serios, es a quienes le dar más. Así es que ya saben. No estar serio, por favor. Okay, we are going to start uh, talking about this conversation. I'm going to read it and you are going to follow me. The conversation is uh, between uh, Mrs. Nunez and Mr. Roland. Okay, listen, please. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of stamps and pick every piece of chocolate. Read the chart and check every piece. Make sure it each meets the specification in the chart. There's Play the defective chocolate in this panel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay. What can you tell me about the conversation? Do you read it with me or not? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know if you have any problem with uh, some words or phrases. You can ask me a question now if you want to talk about this. Hello. I'm going to read it again, okay? Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stamps and pick every piece of chocolate Read the chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Tears, play the defective chocolate in this channel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Questions, sirs? Ladies and gentlemen, do you consider that you have uh, some doubts about some words or not? Teacher. Okay. What is con conveyor? Yeah. Ah, okay. The conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. Okay. The conveyor belt is um, 
how can I explain you? It is something that you have in your factories. Maybe if you manufacture product, how, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you this. Have you seen the airport where, where we pick up our baggage? Son las bandas. Excellent. Sí, son las bandas. Son las bandas donde, pero en el caso, por ejemplo, de las fábricas, eh, claro, siempre se, son, son, son bandas, pero son de diferentes maneras, porque algunas ya tienen los depósitos para los productos que se están elaborando, ¿cierto? Ah, ok. Son como, como las transportadoras. Sí, donde sí, va el producto. Ese tipo de banda, ¿verdad? Sí, donde ve el producto que va sufriendo eh, cada Una proceso. Donde al ah, final okay. ya te sale terminado. Ah, ok. Thank okay. you. Por eso le dice, please push this red button. Por favor, presione este botón rojo. ¿Y por qué le está diciendo eso? Porque mire, first, you are in charge of stopping, stopping the conveyor belt. Ok, uh -huh. okay. ok, ok, ok. What else? Ok, I don't know if you have the material. If you don't have it yet, you can make a a screenshot because you are going to practice. Si alguien no tiene el material, le puede hacer una captura en este momento porque vamos a hacer la práctica. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. No question at all? No question. No question? No question. Okay, I like that. Let us work here in a breakout room. Let me see how many people do we have, 20, okay. I like that, a lot of people today. If I got 20, I need to make 10. I'm going to create. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Maria Idalia is going to work with Raquel Judith. Ana del Carmen is going to work with Harrison. Julia Gomez is going to work with Nicole Rivera. Room four, Giovanni and Reynaldo. Room five is going to be Juan Carlos and Nancy. Room six is going to be Angel and Cristina. Room seven, Karina Noemi and Norma. Eh, let me see. Room eight, Ana Cristina and Xiomara. Room nine is going to be Jose Miguel and Rafael Ernesto. And room 10 is going to be Linda, Yvette and Mark. Uh, Marquez y Suleyma Melgar. Okay, please try to practice this conversation and try to pronounce in the right way. Here we go. Okay. Okay, in this moment, uh, all the participants are practicing the conversation. Later on, they are going to uh, show up here and role play the conversation. It's really important that all the students or participants uh, can practice these uh, short dialogues because in that way they are going to increase their skill about speaking.
Okay, welcome back. I hope that all of you had the chance, the opportunity to practice this conversation. Okay, I got it here. I don't know if you want to do it now, please, who want to do it? I'm going to try with uh, Raquel Judith. Okay, Maria Idalia, go ahead. Okay. If you want, okay, hold on. If, if you want, uh, well, do it now with, with those name. And later on, maybe we are going to with your own names, but do it now in this way. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Roland. Uh, today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez. I'm going to explain you what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of plants and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, lay the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Excellent. Don Narciso. Hello. I'm ready, Cristina. Okay. Hello, Miss Sir Romo. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Mr. Nunez. Um, I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in chain of shopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a part of, a, of stones and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chat or check every page. Make sure it meets the specification in the chat. There, play the defective chocolate in the, this funnel. Finally, filling a report at the end on the day about the defective basis. Okay, Christina. Thank you. Okay, I need that you pay a special attention, for example, to this word right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, my mouse pointer. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, to explain what you must, must do. What you must do. Okay. Another word that I would like to you repeat is, is every piece, every piece of chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. yeah, choc chocolate, chocolate, no, no, the letter O, no, only a yeah, chocolate. And another one is gonna be, let me see, okay, right here, first. First, and let me see what else. Finally, finally, okay. Uh, what I like to tell you, I would like to give you some hints. Okay, I don't know if I can tell you this in Spanish. I'm going to tell you this in Spanish, okay? Les voy a dar algunos tips de cómo van a hacer. No sé cuántos de ustedes tengan el material ya impreso. Could you tell me cuántos de ustedes tienen material impreso? 
Uno. Uno. I am. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh, write your hand in order to count it. Levantenme la mano los que tienen material impreso, por favor. Quiero contarlos. Uno, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Ok, para los que tienen material impreso y para los que no tienen, vamos a buscar otra alternativa. Les voy a pedir de favor que tengan un lápiz y cuando pronunciemos cada conversación, usted escriba arriba de la palabra que usted tiene duda, escriba la pronunciación tal como usted la oye. Eso le va a ayudar a mantener, mantenerse bastante cerca de la pronunciación al momento de que la vamos a repetir. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Se, ¿se comprende lo que les estoy diciendo? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. ok, ok, ok. Les digo esto porque eh, suddenly when we learn how to pronounce a word and we repeat it once or twice, de repente, cuando yo aprendo una palabra nueva y solo la repito una o dos veces, ya la otra semana se me ha olvidado. Entonces, mejor vamos a anotar en el material para que cuando nos toque otra vez, la ahí la tenemos. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Y la otra cosa es que si una palabra usted no comprende, no le queda claro cómo se pronuncia, por favor, levante su manito ahí y pregunte, teacher, may I ask you a question? How do you pronounce this word? O en español, si usted lo quiere hacer. Pero no, no, no es el objetivo solo de ir pasando, de ir pasando las conversaciones y que no haya eh, un aprendizaje, ¿sí? El objetivo es que se aprenda qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Ok. Leras continuo. Espero que todos participemos porque el objetivo, por eso hemos comenzado así con tiempo, para que todos ustedes tengan la oportunidad de poder expresar, leer, la conversación. Ok, somebody out, please. ¿Alguien más, por favor? Sí. Hola, Nancy. Hola, Juan Carlos. Ok. Um, hey, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue. Uh, and pick every piece of chocolate, read this chart, and check every piece. Uh, make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Then place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Another another word that we need to polish is this conveyor. Conveyor. Like an E right here. Conveyor. Conveyor bell. Okay, somebody else? It's conveyor, right? Con conveyor bell, yes. Que no suene la O, que no suene la O, que suene como que si fuese una, una letra e exactamente. Conveyor, Conve Conveyor belt. Conveyor. Ok, somebody else, please. 
हेलो हाँ ओके entonces voy a dejar de, de, de compartir para verles your faces que nadie quiere ajá entonces I'm going to pick up one of you I'm going to choose one of you yo voy a elegir entonces quién y usted elige su compañero con quien le corresponde o háganlo voluntariamente ok tell me Veamos quién está muy en serio ahorita. Vamos a ver el que esté más serio. Ah, Nicole. Ahí está Nicole. Está seria. ¿Ya participó, Nicole? No, teacher. No yet. Ok. Do you want to, do you want to do it now? Ok. Ok, do it. Ok, Julia. Your okay. first... You first. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do. What you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the cover converger belt. Please. Push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the def defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, Fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else want to do it? Me okay. teacher. Ah, okay. Anna. Harrison, Harrison. Anna, how are you going first? Okay. Hello, Mr. Please. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Mr. Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please, push the red button. Second, grab a pair of stones and pick every piece of chocolate. Read chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the spe specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in the this funnel. Finally, fill in report at the end of the day about the defective pies. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, please. Quienes no falta, quienes no faltan. Mi teacher. Ah, okay. Ahí veo que se están escondiendo. Ya lo voy marcando. Okay. okay. Linda. Linda, okay. Linda, do it, do it, do it, do it. With okay. Hello, Hello. Miss. Ah, oh, okay. You first. Okay, I may ayuda. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your face day at the plane. My name is Miss Nunez. I am I am going to explain what do you must do you in products light. Nice to meet you, Miss Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Feel you air in the share of the shopping. The Cover, cover you well. Please push the red button. Second graph appears of the top at the pink everyday place of chocolate. Read the chair and check every place. My case sure is me the spe spe 
purification in the chair. This place the defective chocolate in the food finally feel and report at the and the day about the detect face. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, let us do something else. Let me see. I'm going, I need to do something. I'm going to, okay. Let, let, let me switch the way, because the way how you are going to pronounce these words. Because what I am looking for is a better way that you can pronounce it. This word, okay, how can I write this? I don't have text, so I have it here. Yeah, in, in, in order that you can say it in a, like, a, let me see, how can I explain this? In order that you don't sound like, a, how can I tell you this word? Okay, in another word, what I want is that you try to, to, to pronounce this in a different way. Okay, what about if you say, let me see, chocolate. Say chocolate. Chocolate. Repeat. Chocolate. Chocolate. No, chocolate. No, 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 hold on. Chocolate. Chocolate. No, okay, lo vamos a hacer despacio. Okay, teacher. Como que si fuese, uh, let me see when I can, aquí voy a, no chocolate. aquí voy a escribir. No tengo lo, los, los símbolos fonéticos para escribir las letras así al revés, pero vamos a tratar de acercarnos. Leanme eso. Chocolate. 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 Okay, listen. Listen. Repeat. Listen, listen. Chocolate. 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 Así, más, más, más británico, porque porque veo que cada vez me le van haciendo muy, muy, me le van poniendo late, late, late. Sí. Entonces mejor así, chocolate. 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 Ah, ok. Chocolate. Excelente. Chocolate. Vale, ya lo anotaron ahí por en algún ladito, va, me gusta. Ok, so María Oplis, ¿alguien más quiere leer? Chocolate. Ok, so María Oplis, ¿quiere leer? No. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Yo sé quiénes no han leído. Yo sí, sé quién es. <ríe> ok, Reinaldo. Ok. Giovanni. Ah, Giovanni. Comienza, Giovanni. Giovanni, comienza. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. Are you there, Giovanni? Está Giovanni. No, no, yo... no, pero creo que tiene problema con el audio. Ok. Uh, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plane. My name is Ms. Núñez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Núñez. Ms. Núñez, where do we start? First, you are in chair, chair or shopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stones and Pick every piece of chocolate. Read, read. chocolate. No. Chocolate. This chocolate. Share and check every piece. 
make sure each meets the specification in the chart. Here's place the defective chocolate in the, this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. Okay. Okay, another thing that I would like to tell you is this. La otra cosa que quiero decirles es lo siguiente. Cuando nos aprendamos una palabra nueva, para que no se nos olvide, you can take a piece of paper, one, tomas una página de papel, or even in, in the, I don't know, en un lugar donde tengas un espejo, algo puedes escribir ahí la pronunciación de esa palabra. Y cada vez que se cruce por ahí, la va a ver. De esa forma se le va a ir grabando. Eso es sumamente importante. Cualquier palabra que quiera aprender, hola, hola. póngala hola. en un lugar visible, en hola. su oficina, donde sea, y la va reemplazando. El siguiente día pones otra, el siguiente día otra. Si, si tengo más ansias, no voy a poner una, voy a poner dos o tres. Al final de la semana voy a hacer un recuerdo y voy a decir, esta semana aprendí tantas palabras. ¿Me comprende? Yes. Ok. I like yes, that. teacher. Ok. Somebody else, yeah. somebody, somebody else want to do something? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya nadie falta de la conversación? Mi teacher. Mm, ok, José Miguel. Who's your partner? Quien es su compañero? Rafa. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day at, at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do you start? First, you are in charge of shopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of tongue and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this fundal. Finally, fill in a report at the at the end of the date about the defective piece. Defective defective pieces. Defective pieces. Defective pieces. Yes. Okay, I know that some of you are uh, trying not to read. Okay, algunos se me están ahí como escondiendo, no? Ya los vi. Ya los vi. Okay, I'm going to show you the book. This is your book, your manual that you are using. Este es un libro. Dice. El que estamos usando. We have the conversation. Dice. I have a, I have a, a question, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tell me. Uh, it is, is Miss or is Mrs. Mrs. Right here. Let me let me check up uh, right here. Miss, Mrs. It is sometimes we don't have a, a Mrs. Mrs. But in this case, okay, so, in this escuchando case yo, Miss. Estaba escuchando yeah, Miss. Yeah, yeah. Miss. Yeah, sometimes we, we, we need to we need to have a we need to to be uh be very careful about this. But in English, you know uh, the difference between Miss and Mrs. Señora, señorita. Saben la diferencia entre Miss and Mrs. Casada, cuando está casada es Miss Núñez. 
Yes. Mysterious. Okay, okay. Before we continue, uh, déjenme darles un comercial. Esperemos que haya la energía. I hear it's raining. I hope that it... I don't know your area, but here is starting to rain. Está comenzando a llover, así es que espero que no. Hay un corte, pues... Teacher, no ah. se escucha. Excuse me. Ahorita Excuse me. sí. Ahorita sí. Ah, ok. Lo que les decía es que eh, acá está comenzando a llover. Generalmente a veces hay corte o final. Entonces esperemos que no nos vaya a suceder. Es así, vamos a tratar de, de reanudarlo. Teacher, se le corta el, el audio. Es por, es por, lo, por lo de la lluvia. Pero. Eso sucede. La conexión. Ok, hold Hello, hello. 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 Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello. Yes, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Okay, hold on a second, let me see. How can you hear me now? 
Very good. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It is cause the raining. It is difficult. Because right here, as I told you before, it is raining really heavy. Okay, let me check out the assistant now in order to continue. I don't know uh, if only in this area it is raining. Here now it's raining. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Person. Present teacher. José Miguel. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Um, Linda. Present teacher. Okay, I got you. Eh, Maria Idalia. Here I am, teacher. Okay, Marlene. Present. Eh, Marvin Omar. It's not here. Nancy Yvette. Nancy. Present Okay. Present teacher. Okay, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm your teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Oh, let me see, Reinaldo. Present teacher. Welcome. Suleima. Present. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Y Ana Cristina Chavarría. Ana Cristina. No me mencionó, teacher. Julia. Sí. Let me see. Deje ver, deje ver, deje ver. Permítame. Ok, I do really sorry about. I apologize. Julia, ¿dónde está usted? En las Marías. María Julia Gómez. Sí, María Julia Gómez. Ok, I do really sorry. Ok. Hello. Me escucho a mí. Present. Yes, yes, yes. To all of you. To all of you. Ok, before to continue, uh, I was explaining you that suddenly when it is raining in this area, uh, we lost the connection for the reasons on time I need to to use headphone like the one that I have now. And uh, as soon as you don't listen me very well, just let me know. Tan pronto no me estén oyendo muy bien, por favor me lo hacen saber. Así como hoy. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, before to continue, uh, let me see, I was showing you the book. Les estaba mostrando el libro, we have three questions. The number one says, who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Who is responsible for that? Mr. Roland is re responsible. 
Okay. Uh, the second one says, what are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Stopping the conveyor belt. Okay. Grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Para que se les oiga mejor. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Okay, and the last one said number three. What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? Aquí, right here is missing a letter. Aquí le falta una letra. In your work. In your workplace. Okay, what can you tell me about it? Hello. I'm gonna try. Um, in my case, um, there is a computer, um, uh, a a desk, a computer, and a telephone. Okay, it's an office, right? It is an office. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else. Shamara, want to say something? Okay, let, me, let us continue then. Okay, as you can see, all the words in bold, como puedes ver, todas las palabras que están en negría have a name, tienen un nombre, todas estas expresiones que están en color negrita. For example, push this red button, grab a pair of tongue, uh, pick every piece of shock, chocolate, uh, read this shirt, check every piece, play the defective chocolate, uh, fill in a report. How do we call it? How do we call it in English? For example, if your boss said, uh, open the window, close the door, answer the telephone, Write in an email. How do we call it? ¿Cómo le llamamos a ese tipo de expresiones o oraciones? Imperative words. We call it? Imperative words. Imperative sentences, right? Okay. Let us talk about imperatives. And I got, uh, I got some example here. We have a, a, a conversation driving safely, okay? The woman say, okay, I don't know if you want to read it for me, please. I need a, a couple of volunteers to read it. Ne sure. Necesito una pareja de voluntarios que me lea, por favor. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, with somebody Hi. else. Okay. Is Maria your first? Okay, Maria, Maria. Okay. Um, slow down, please. I'm nervous. Relax. I am a good driver. Watch out for that bicycle. Don't worry, listen to the music. There is a red light, stop. Close door A, I am driving this car. Turn right, no turn left, no right. Okay, here we are next, next time, please take a bus. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Say, okay, the woman Not said. <laughs> okay, the, the, the woman said, okay, slow down, please. I'm nervous. Relax. I'm a good driver. Watch out for the 
bicycle. Don't worry, listen to the music. There's a red light. Stop. Close your eye. I'm driving this cab. To right. No. To left. No. Right. Okay. Here we are. Next time, please take a bus. Okay. I need that before to go to the next slide. I need that you pay attention to the words in bold. Antes de pasar a la siguiente diapositiva, quiero que le prestes atención a todas las palabras o frases que están en negrita. Por favor. Ok. Somebody else want to read? ¿Alguien más quiere leer esa conversación? Ok. Ana, y un caballero, por favor, que me le ayude, que sea el driver. Mi teacher. Ok, Giovanni, ok. Slow down, please. Nervous. Relax, I'm a good driver. What's up for the bicycle? Don't worry, listen to music. There are red leaves, stop. Close your eyes. I'm driving this cup. To right, no. To left, no. To right. Okay, here we are. Next time, please take a bus. Okay, remember that uh, when we are performing a conversation, we need to do it in a natural way. And also we need to respect all the... Uh, the mark that we have in this case, an exclamation. Slow down, please, I'm nervous. And somebody said, relax, then a good driver. Watch out for the bicycle. Don't worry, listen to, to the music. There's a red light, stop. Close your eye, I'm driving this car. To right, no, to left, no, right, okay. Here we are, next time, please take a bus, okay. Let us continue. Any question? No? O se me están durmiendo ya. Any question? No, teacher. Ok, ok. No. Ok, ok, ok. Lo que, quiero es, lo que quiero es que aprendan a ponerle un poco más de sazón a la hora de leer y... Nos toca ser dramáticos en esto. ¿Sí? I know that uh, it's difficult, but you have to do it. Okay. okay. All these are imperative. Todas estas son imperativas. Mira. Okay, somebody wants to tell me why we call it imperative. ¿Por qué le llamamos imperativas? Alguien que me diga, please. Tell me, why do we call it imperative? Because we use it to give order or, or instruction. Okay, okay. It's a good, it's a good tip. But there is something that we need to take into account at the moment that we are going to create or to say an imperative sentence. Where is it? Hay algo importante al momento que vamos a decir o a escribir una oración imperativa. ¿Qué es? Observen las que tenemos ahí. Bueno, ahí los dejo pensando. Me voy a la siguiente diapo. Ok, mira lo que dice. Use imperative for all directions. Ok. Stop. Stop. Or you can say to your left. We can use imperative for interaction also. 
Can you describe me the picture that I have here? Don't see. Tell me what, what you can see. What is uh, the woman doing? ¿Qué está haciendo la señora? Close your eyes. Yeah, he's closing his eyes. Está cerrándole los ojos al don. And at the same time, she is giving him instruction. Okay, go straight ahead, to left, to right, uh, walk for four step, etc., etc., etc. Okay, mira, close your eye. Ah, okay, watch out for the bicycle. Watch out for the bicycle. What is the meaning of that expression in Spanish? ¿Cuál es el significado de esa expresión? Only one, please. Only one, tell me. What is the meaning? Watch out for the bicycle. Cuidado con aquella bicicleta. Could you repeat again, please? Eh, cuidado con, con, con aquella bicicleta. Ok, con esa, con esa bicicleta. Con esa, ok. Ok, pero lo más importante a estas alturas quiero que ustedes mismos me digan qué es lo que tengo que tomar en cuenta para hacer imperativas, oraciones imperativas. Hasta ahora no me han no, dicho. No so subject. Ah, ok, excelente. Excelente. Ok, no subject, no personal pronouns. No vamos a usar ningún pronombre, ningún sujeto. Le dice, cierre la puerta. No le dice, usted cierre la puerta. No le dice, eh, usted abra la ventana. No, open the window. Ok, ok, ok. Ahora sí le vamos a meter. A... Ahora sí le metimos el acelerador. Ok. Use the imperative for request. For request. Vamos a usar imperativos para qué? Hello. Para generar órdenes. But in this case, what is a re request? Para preguntar. Instrucción. Mm. Para dar instrucciones. Or request. Todavía no han llegado a la palabra que yo necesito. Bueno, después la buscan. Le dice, mire cómo le dice, please take the pass. Please take the pass. Okay, let, let me see. Hold on, hold on. The teacher said, read page 23 for homework. Ella dice, read, no le dice, ustedes le no. Read page 23 for homework. Ok. Who say, give me your driver's license? Who say that? ¿Quién dice eso? The policy. The police. The policy. Ah, ok. Give me your driver's license. The police officer, ok. Take a deep breath. Who say this? ¿Quién dijo esto? Take, take a deep breath. Ah, okay, the doctor, excellent. Uh, get ready for take off. Who said it? Get ready for take off. Pilot. It's the pilot. Pilot, pilot. Pilot, pilot. Yes, pilot. Jesus, Jesus was an accident. Use the verb for, or the verb for imperative. Ojo con esto. Vamos a usar la forma base del verbo para el imperativo. 
Y mire lo que le dijo el, el policía. Use a seat belt. You got it? Cinturón. Si hubiese llevado el cinturón, ¿qué hubiese pasado? No hubiera salido volando por la ventana. Ah, no hubiese. Sí, ok. Entonces significa, mire, que estamos usando la forma base de el verbo. Use a seat belt. Eh, oh. Teacher, una consulta. Ok, tell me. Eh, bueno. Tell me, sir. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tell, tell me. Eh, lo, lo que yo he visto, bueno, en otras ocasiones es que, bueno, en vez de decir use, a veces lo que se dice es to use. ¿Cómo saber si usar to use o usar solo use? Ah, mire, aquí tenemos la misma, la respuesta aquí está. Cuando dice que va a usar la forma base, significa que la forma base no debe de llevar la partícula to. Se lleva la partícula to un verbo cuando él es infinitivo. Mm. Y cuando es infinitivo, cuando el verbo termina en, en el caso de español, cuando lo traducimos, terminan en ar, er, ir. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, usted dice, me voy eh, a dormir. I go to sleep. I go to sleep. ¿Sí? Me voy a dormir. Pero en este caso, los imperativos toman la forma base del verbo. ¿Y la forma base cuál es? No llevando la partícula tú. Ah, ok. Excelente. Démosle porque está largo esto. Yo creo que ya con los ejemplos que les he dado... Eh, han comprendido use the verb form of the verb for imperative vuelve a recalcar use la forma base del verbo para los imperativos mire lo que le dice follow road sign mire aquí está ¿ve? no le dice to follow no follow road sign otro use do not o sea don't Plus the form for the negative form of the imperative. Para la forma negativa vamos a usar a uh, don más la forma base de el verbo. Don't drive fast. Mire, don't drive fast. No maneje rápido. ¿Le está diciendo a quién? Hello. And the man. Ah, yes. The man in the motorcycle. What about this case? Don't use a cell phone. Ya les ha pasado a ustedes. Sí. Tell me. Ya les ha pasado que los ha seguido la policía porque van con el teléfono. <laughs> Be honest and tell me. No? No, teacher. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about what about this? We have a positive and negative. Example, par here, don't par here. Yeah. Let me check this. Stop, don't stop. Pass on the left, don't pass on the left. Turn on your turn on your light. Don't turn on your light. Exit here, don't exit here. Uh, please make an imperative more polite. Please come at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. Para hacerlo más cortés, ponemos la palabra please al inicio o al final de cada oración. Please watch out for animals. Yes? Instead of say, watch out for animal, please, could be in that way too. Podría ser de las dos formas. Okay, we got an example here. Stop. Go. Okay, walk. Okay, I guess uh, it is enough. Let me see the time. Yes. Okay, now 
that you have seen a lot of examples about imperative. Ahora que ustedes han visto muchos ejemplos sobre imperativos, you can share with me uh, something. But before to do that, let me check up uh, in the book what we have. Let me share with you what you have here talking about imperative. Okay, I got it here. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna get bigger this um, and bigger, okay. How to use imperative? Use imperative to give an order, to give interaction or to make invitation. Imperatives do not have a subject. Esta es la clave, los imperativos no tienen un sujeto. And we have an example and say read this chart and check every piece. Uh, unplug this curve and connect the blue one. Fill in a report about the defective pieces. Verify the oil level. Okay, want to read it? So somebody want to read it for me, please? Alguien quiere leerme estas cuatro oraciones, por favor? Recuerden, el que participe es el que aprende. Me, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Number one, read this chart and check every piece. Number two, fill in the report about the different pieces. Number three, unplug this core and connect it to the blue oh, one. The blue one. Number, blue one. Blue Number, one. Repeat. Blue one. Blue one. Okay. In number four, verify the only level. Verify. Verify, verify. the oil verify. The, the oil level. The oil level. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Nice. I like that. Somebody else want to read, please? Me thank teacher. you, sir. Okay, Maria. Okay. Um, read this chart and check every piece. Unplug this core and connect the blue one. Fill in a report about the defective pieces. Verify the oil level. Okay, nice. Excellent. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, read this chart and check every piece. Fill in a report about the defective pieces. Unplug this core and connect the blue one. Verify the oil level. Okay, nice. Somebody else, somebody else? Me teacher. Okay, Angel, Angel. Read this chart and check every piece. Filling a report about the defective basis. Defective basis. This core and connect the blue one. Verify the oil level. Okay, fill in a report. Fill in a report about the defective basis. Repeat that sentence, please. Fill in a report about defective basis. Fill in a report about the defective basis. Defective. Defective pieces, okay. Defective pieces. Yeah, okay. Somebody else want to do it? No? Me, teacher. Okay, Christina. With the shot on the unshot every base, filling a report about the defective base, unplug the core and connect the blue one, verifying verify the old level. Okay, only 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 a word. Every piece, every piece, defective pieces. Okay. Okay. Let me check out my lesson plan in order to know exactly what is. Con let me see. Okay. We are here.
Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, what we're going to do now is that you are going to complete the exercise that we have. Let me see what I have here. I got it here. Okay, exercise number five, you are going to complete it. Let me see. Okay, look at the diagram of how the chocolate product is made. Like we each step in order using the words in the diagram. And we have separate, check, uh, level, assemble, ground, mix, firm. And we have a, we have a here, we have a here these um, sentences and you are going to uh, write down the word that you consider that is uh, implied with each sentences. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give you uh, some minutes in order that you can do it and later on you are going to do it with somebody else. So please, if you don't have the material, you can make uh, an, a screenshot now and later on you are going to start working on it. Si alguien no tiene material, haga una captura. It's done, okay. Okay, try, try to resolve this exercise, please. You hear me very well? Yes? Hello? Hello? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sí, por ratos, uh, I, I feel disappointed because I'm talking alone and you don't answer my question. And I consider that I lost the connection or something like that, you know? So please, uh, I need, when I ask you a question, uh, give me an answer in order to be sure that everything is clear. Okay, comprenden la instrucción que di, sí? Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Now you are going to work alone. Ahorita van a trabajar solitos. Después de un par de minutos, le voy a asignar a un compañero and you are going to work together. Okay? Okay. Okay, try to okay. do it. Try to do it now. Try to
Okay, time is over, time is over. Okay, uh, let us resolve. Who wants to give me an answer about this? What do you have in the second one? ¿Qué tienen en la segunda? Check. Mix. Mix. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we have problem. We have problem. Tenemos problemas, unos tienen... Asamble. Un... Ok. Ground, ground teacher. What do you have? All the ingredients to make the chocolates. Cablet. Cablet. What do you have? It is... Mix, right? Okay. Okay, let me share it in order that we can solve it together. Did you finish or not? Julia, did you finish? Ok, resolvámoslo rapidito porque tenemos otra actividad que hacer. Ok, the second one, you say. What do you have here? Mix. Ok, mix all the ingredients to make the cho your chocolate tablets. Ok, the, the next one, the third one, what do you have? Somebody Ground. else? Ah, ok, ground the cocoa beans into the powder, ok. Uh, the next one, please. Number four. Right here. Mix. Mix again. Mix the powder with milk. Okay. And next one, right here. Uh, assemble. Assemble. Assemble the chocolate, the ch chocolate package to finish. Okay. N next one. Four. Form. Form a simple past. Okay. Next one. Label. Etiquette. Okay. Label. 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 Label the package. Right. Okay. What about quality and quality control? What is measured? Check the quality Check. and quality control. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let us go to the next activity that we are going to do. Okay, uh, you are going to get in pairs and you are going to create a conversation using imperative to order or to give instruction to manufacture a products. You have 15 minutes to do this. En español y a colores, o comprendieron la instrucción? Pregunto. What we are going to do? Repeat teacher, please. 
Okay, repeat. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are going to get together in pairs, two people. And you are going to create a conversation using imperative sentences explaining a process like the example given. Van a unirse eh, en el breakout room en parejas y van a crear una conversación sobre el proceso de un producto usando oraciones imperativas como el ejemplo de el chocolate. ¿De acuerdo? Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, ok. Ok, I got it. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, al menos ya me respondió una persona y me dijo yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Ok, thank you. Los primeros que van a hacer la conversación van a ser Ana del Carmen, Norma Carolina y Nicole. ¿Y quién más no tiene cámara? Ah, bueno, ya, pero bueno, yo ya dije. Ahí estamos. Ok, let, let us get together in peers. I'm going to recreate again. Ah, we have problems. Tenemos problemas. Do you know why? Porque solo hay 19 personas. Entonces, uno se va a quedar de tres. Yo lo arreglo eso, ok. I'm going to put nine. And I'm going to create. Ok, let me see. How you are going to wear. Maria Idalia is going with Raquel Judith. Ana del Carmen is going with Harrison. Julia is going with Nicole. Giovanni is with Reinaldo. Juan Carlos is with Nancy. Ángel is with Cristina. Karina is with Norma. Eh, Ana is with Yomara. And I got a pro I have a problem here. Rafael is going with Linda and Sulaim. Se van a ir los tres. Tr trios. It's gonna be trios. Okay. Capichi or no capichi? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, verdad. Yes, Yo sabía que sabían esa palabra también, ok. Ok, here we go. Three minutes. Vamos a comenzar con tres minutos. No me va a decir que muy poco tiempo. No, de una. Piense, piense, piense. Imagínense como que estamos en el juego de los chinitos, jugando el calamar y que no podemos pensar mucho. Ok, here we go. Xiomara, Xiomara. Okay, at this moment, all the participants are preparing their conversation using imperative sentences. We need to wait in order to see what they have created. Or what they are going to create.
something that we need to keep in mind is that when we learn something about a new topic, we need to put in practice in order to get it in a better way. Practice over and over. And that way we are going to increase our skills. Remember, I, I told you at the beginning of this module that all of you had the same opportunity to practice. That means if you, at the end of the model, don't practice, it's up to you. Because if you want to increase your, your knowledge, that means that you need to practice at all. For the reason I invite you every moment that I can do it, to participate. Okay, let us see what we have now. Okay, welcome back. Don't tell me that the time is not enough because, well, finish. I gave you three minutes in order to start doing your conversation. I don't know if you need more time to do it. Just tell me, let me know. Pregunto. ¿Me comprendieron lo que dije? Yes, teacher, we need more time. Ah, okay, you need more time. Okay, okay, okay. What about the rest? Only yes, Linda? Only Linda need more time? Not the rest of the class? More time, teacher. Ah, more time. Okay. Two minutes. It is enough? Two minutes? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Jesus. We are close to finish. Only uh, we have seven minutes. Okay. I'm going to give you, let me see, two more minutes. I know that maybe it's not, it's not enough, but you are going to try to do your best. Because at the end, you are going to perform your conversation. And remember, if you, for the time, can do it today, you are going to do it tomorrow. Los que no lo puedan hacer hoy, lo van a hacer mañana al inicio de la clase. I try to keep in mind all your faces and names when you participate. And the next day, I remember exactly who is missing. El día siguiente me recuerdo quienes no han pasado, pero no acostumbro estar puchando. No, solo los dejo y les digo, okay, let us talk about this. Who wants to speak? It's up to you. Okay. But another question. Uh, any couple finish? ¿Alguna pareja logró finalizar o no? No. Jesus, it's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, here we go again. Es mi culpa, por mi culpa. No, pero hoy les voy a poner dos minutos porque ya se nos va a acabar el tiempo. Aprovechen, por favor, esos dos minutos. No more than two minutes, please. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Xiomara del Carmen Castro is waiting. Ana Cristina.
Okay, time is over, time is over, time is over. Okay, I, I would like to be sure that, let me see. Today I need to talk with Cristina Stephanie Martinez Mejia. Is that possible? Cristina Stephanie? Yes, teacher. Okay, at the end of the class, you're going to have 10 minutes. Okay, here we are. Uh, I need to listen at least three couples. Aquí estamos, necesito ir por lo menos a tres parejas que me demuestren lo que hicieron. Please, entre más rápido lo hacemos, más rápido nos vamos. Así es que, try to do it now, please. Volunteer, volunteers. Don Narciso. Okay. Don Narciso, por favor. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, let's do it now. And read the only four, Don Narciso. Uh -huh. I compliment. Okay, let's do it now, please. Okay. First, the process, uh, process, uh, okay. the factory, uh, uh, galleta, right? Cookies. Cookies, okay. Uh, first, prepare ingredients. Tell me, Christina. Egg, sugar, milk, flour, baking powder. Why the ingredient, why the ingredient, mix the egg, sugar, milk, flour, baking powder, prepare the mold, take the oven, make the figures of the cookies, pour in the oven, wait the 10 minutes, and only that. Teacher. Okay, and That's okay, all. okay, thank you. Somebody else, please, in a hurry. Alguien más, así, rapidito, rapidito. Five seconds, five seconds. Se nos fueron los cinco segundos. Okay, alguien más, por favor. No. Ah, okay. It's going. It's going to be at the beginning of the class for tomorrow. Okay. Let me check out the assist, uh, assistant. Uh, assistance. I'm going to check up the attendance because of the time that I have now. Or somebody else is going to perform. No. No. Why not? Y me estaban pidiendo más tiempo y yo dándoles más tiempo. Y al final me mintieron. No, teacher, we didn't finish. <laughs> okay, but you can, you can share with me what you have. No problem at all. Ah, okay, I know. For tomorrow, I'm going to switch something. Para mañana voy a hacer un cambio de algo, porque ya vi. Ya vi algo, okay. Okay, but don't forget, at the beginning of the class, you are going to do it tomorrow. So, please. Because of the time, I need to check up the attendance now to be sure that all of you be here. That all of you are here. Let me see. I'm, I'm having a kind of problem with my internet connections. But this ain't happened the whole day with uh, WhatsApp and Messenger too. Al menos el día de hoy no se les apacharon los deditos de mandar mensajes de WhatsApp, ¿cierto? Correct. 
come on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just say present. And uh, before to take the attendance, I would like to be sure that all of you are doing your activities in the platform. I don't know if you have uh, any problem with the platform. No sé si tienen algún problema con la plataforma. Ya todos entraron a hacer las actividades. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Ana, del, Ana, Ana, yeah. del, Ana del Carmen. Present, teacher. Ángel. Ángel. Present, teacher. Cristina. Present, teacher. Okay. Recuerde que no se me va a ir. Okay. Giovanni. Present, teacher. Okay, Harrison. Present. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Eh, Linda Ivet. Present teacher. María Idalia. I am here teacher. María Julia. Present teacher. Ah, hoy no me equivoqué, mire. Okay. Marlen. Present. Eh, ok. Uh, let me see. Marvin Omar. ¿Alguien lo conoce de ustedes a este joven muchacho? No. Ya con esta lleva cuántas? Tres. Ok, Nancy. Nancy Beth. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Eh, Reinaldo. Present teacher. Eh, Suleima. Present teacher. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara. Se me durmió. Oh, aquí estoy. Ah, oh, oh, ok, ok. Ana Creo que tenía desactivado el micrófono. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ok. And I need to talk with. Y necesito hablar con Cristina Stephanie Martínez. En español, lo felicito. Eh, hoy estuvo el 99.9% de ustedes. Y eh, me ha gustado también que han mantenido sus cámaras encendidas. Solo dos que tres por A o B razones, pues quizás no lo han hecho, pero eh, invitarlos a que para la próxima clase lo podamos hacer. Vuelvo y repito, me gusta que todos participen, trato de hacer que todos hablen, pero eso dependerá de todos ustedes. Si ustedes no quieren hablar, eh, es bien difícil hacerlos ¿sí? así es que si usted quiere avanzar pues cuando yo pido que participen hagámoslo todos y de esa manera vamos hacia adelante ok have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow bye bye good night teacher thank you thank you bye bye ok bye, sí, bye. bye teacher bye Okay, Cristina. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, I don't know if you have uh, any problem with the topic that we already have started. I don't know if you want that I explain you in Spanish something. In the now, in this topic now? No, um, all depends. It's a, it's a little. A little confusion. Yes. Okay. And uh, in the first day is confused. The fair one? The Friday. Ah, okay. Okay. About what what clothes? Uh, um uh, don't understand when say what you need is what? Is como, como que o co, como cuando, no, ahí no entiendo. 
lo que usted o ayunar lo que usted necesita. Mm. Sí. Lo, ya, ya no es qué. No. Ahí es lo que usted necesita. Porque recuérdese que sería que cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta. Sí. What you need to do is lo que usted necesita hacer es. Sí. Y cuando es lo que mi amigo. Que obtuvo frescos ingredientes. Pues sí. Léamela en inglés si la tiene ahí. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. Ah, lo que mi amigo hizo fue obtener ingredientes más frescos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, es que cambia a lo que, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya no es que. Ya no. Uh -huh. Porque recuerdo. Ahí, ahí me había confundido un poco. Ah, ok. Excelente. What, what, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tenga? Ah, lo de ahora es, no son, no son comandos, sino que son este, como, como mandar. Ok, le explico. Las oraciones imperativas, nosotros a este nivel las vamos a ver como uh, para dar direcciones para eh, solicitar algo, ¿sí? Pero al, pero al final, eh, cuando me mencionó la palabra comandos, eh, me remonté hasta allá por séptimo grado, cuando así se le enseñó a los estudiantes y se les decía, sit down, stand up, go to the blackboard, erase the blackboard, etc. Entonces, pero esos son imperativos. Ajá. Son imperativos. El, el, el verbo no cambia. Nunca cambia. No, porque como se usa la forma base. Uh -huh. Sí, por ejemplo, le dice, ok, go out, por favor, sal. Sí, come on, etcétera, okay. etcétera. Por ejemplo, answer the phone, responde el teléfono. Esa es la forma base, sin que lleve la partícula to. Ni que lleve el sujeto, ¿verdad? Tampoco, porque si no ya porque no sé. siempre ya se sabe que es para la otra persona, you. Sí, entonces lo omitimos. Esa es una de las características que tienen las oraciones imperativas. Pero solo se hace para, para otra persona y si se hace para, digamos, para ellos. Depende de la orden que les va a dar a ellos. Por ejemplo, si, si un ejemplo, estoy en el salón de clase y... Hay un grupo que está haciendo desorden o ruido. Entonces yo les puedo decir, ok, be quiet, be quiet. ¿Sí? Ok. Silencio. Sí, por favor, be quiet. Uh -huh. Entonces se puede usar eh, cualquier, para cualquier persona, ¿no? Uh -huh. Pero siempre en forma base, aunque se le esté diciendo a varios. Sí, sí, eso no, eso no tiene que ver. La, reg la regla siempre se, siempre se respeta. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, hay un grupo de, de personas en su oficina y usted les dice, go out, please, go out. Por favor, salgan. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Go out. Uh -huh. Ya se sobreentiende. O... Uh, ellos están fuera y usted les dice, ok, come on, come in, come in, pueden entrar. Uh -huh. okay. Aquí es de aprenderse bien cada los verbos. Así es, eso es sumamente importante. Y eh, el vocabulario. Sí, eh, y en esa parte de los verbos yo no le he tocado porque, uh, bueno, han habido cuatro módulos previos. Y imagino que más de alguno de los compañeros ya les dejó una lista de verbos. No nos dieron, pero nosotros, eh, entre nosotros, este, conseguimos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, si, siendo así, eh, trataré de compartir con ustedes una lista que tengo donde aparece hasta la pronunciación de ellos. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ahí lo único que no tiene es la traducción al español. 
pero eso ya es más fácil. Uh -huh. Para que así eh, se les haga un poco más fácil. Recuerde que para poder eh, tener una conversación fluida, lo que necesitamos es tener suficiente vocabulario. Pero eh, el manual nos va dando un montón de palabras. Yo les sugiero, sí. lo, les sugiero que en su cuaderno de apuntes, eh, cada día yo sé que es muy duro porque el trabajo no, nos consume tiempo, pero sería bueno que cada día eh, usted anotara, dijera la clase 3, por ejemplo, y en un tiempecito por ahí usted comienza y saca todas las palabras que son desconocidas. Uh -huh. y eh, les escribe la pronunciación como la oyó o la traducción, lo que usted quiera y eso le va a ayudar mucho ¿Sí? okay. ok, ok, excelente no sé si tenga uh, otra pregunta o no, estamos por ahorita sí, bien. solo eso sí. Ah, la, okay. lo que tenía bastante duda era con la de la clase del viernes que, okay. que eran los clausos okay. Sí, uh -huh. what clauses. Uh -huh. Ok. Y con el de los imperativos sí era saber si el verbo solo era en forma base y no se le ponía el sujeto. Así es. Perfecto. Le agradezco por su tiempo y recuerde que siempre estamos al servicio de ustedes para poderles ayudar. Gracias. Ok. okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.